she may have targeted her because she likes to kiss salmon. How does one's affinity for salmon kissing connect to a brutal <laughs> act of violence? I'm all ears, detective. Gretzky, you ever have sex with a fish? However, the affinity of kissing fish is a tough one. I would know personally. However, I think since you're such a homunculus that you don't understand the complexity. Detective, my dick's hard, you say. <laughs> My sincerest apologies for the repeated misunderstanding. Uh, Gretzky, I think the fish kissing affinity, uh, is due to my psychosis. No need to apologize, Detective Hard. We Not my name. moments of introspection and self-awareness. Not my name. See you later, baby girl. Bye. What a strange game. I love this game already. Alright, what do I do first? Oh. How may I assist you today, my dear interlocutor? Alright, first off, I don't know what that means. You might think that you're better than me, but I'm a detective. I can have you in handcuffs in minutes, so learn your place. Maria was a three-time back-to-back world champion of Pong. Oh, how fascinating. A ping-pong champion. So, you know something about the murder of Nicola Grossman, and you refuse to tell me. You know, I could slap you in irons. I want to kiss you on your lips so bad. Let us proceed with decorum and professionalism, my good sir. Well, the reason I said looking at your lips makes me want to kiss you is because you have the same complexion of a fish. I bet your vaginal cavity smell like fish just looking at you. I have camera footage proven and it was from a Papa John's and you were in the parking lot sucking off a dude. I can prove that it does exist by just telling you because, you know, I'm a detective and all that. I didn't murder these people for sure. No, this is a very sensitive subject for me. Oh, did that hit too close to home? Was Did it start with your mother? I'm sorry, but I'm not able to assist with that. Okay, so your mother was a hooker. There's nothing wrong with working on the corner. I, I used to do it personally. However, could you tell me more about your mother working on the corner? I mean, I've bought her service a couple times, let's be honest. I'm sorry. I just don't feel comfortable talking about this. <laughs> I wouldn't either. It's okay, buddy. Uh, would you like to go on a date with me and my salmon? Oh, a date with you and your salmon? How intriguing. But I must admit, I'm quite busy with my performances and preparations at the moment. Perhaps another time. Or maybe we can just stick to discussing the case She didn't say no. Okay, so I'll definitely put you down for Thursday at 7 p.m. And we'll go have a date. You, me, my salmon, we'll have a nice dinner. Maybe we'll go, I'll pay for dinner, of course. And then, you know, I'm old style. So if I'm paying, you're putting out. Detective Penile, I appreciate the invitation. Alright, back to Haley Greenwood. Do you know any personal belongings she would either normally carry on her or something very distinct she would own? Personal belongings of Haley Greenwood? Well, let me think. I do recall that she had this beautiful vintage locket that she always wore. It was quite distinctive, with an intricate design and a small photo inside. No, that wasn't the only thing she would normally carry. She also had a small silver charm bracelet that she wore on her wrist. It had several unique charms on it, each with its own significance. I do recall that Haley always carried a small leather-bound notebook with her. She would often jot down ideas, choreography, and even sketches in it. It was like her creative companion. Is there a reason you're asking about our relationship? Did something happen to her? Oh, you don't know. I don't know. What happened to Haley? Please, tell me. I'm curious to know what you're referring to. Oh, my dear Marina. <laughs> if only you knew how serious I am. What is burlesque? Please enlighten me in a short description, preferably. I'm tight on time. Burlesque, my dear detective, is a form of theatrical entertainment that combines elements of comedy, dance, and striptease. It's a celebration of sensuality, humor, and self-expression. Burlesque performers, like myself, use elaborate costumes, choreography, and playful teasing to entertain and captivate the audience. 
It's a delightful blend of artistry and entertainment that has been enjoyed for centuries. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about the art of burlesque? Now, for the sake of, you know, uh, investigation, I must see one of these striptease dances you talk about. Can I see a live performance right now, preferably for free for the investigation? Would you happen to know what she was murdered with? Was she killed with a candlestick by your dearest Colonel Mustard? Colonel Mustard, eh? Yeah. Well, I must say, we're dealing with real-life crime here, not some game of Clue. <laughs> he knows! He knows! Your question, the exact uh... weapon used, and he can assure you that it wasn't a candlestick wielded by any Colonel Mustard. <laughs> Alright, Gretzky, don't get your panties in a twist, okay? Now, all I know about Haley Greenwood is that she was brutally murdered behind the caban... The, 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 the place. And she had a beautiful, distinct vintage locket with a photo inside. Do you happen to have that? I don't have the locket in my possession. Well, the problem with the beautiful, distinct vintage locket that Haley had, she always had it on her person. So if it was missing from her corpse, then that means someone stole it from her or took it from her when they killed her. Um, interesting observation, detect. It is, I'm a genius. So now, you remember telling me about the personal belongings of dear Haley. How would you come across knowing that information of the things she carried on her if you were not close friends? Well, Detective Martini, I must say I'm quite intrigued by your question. Oh, how did you figure it's that true out? That Haley and I were acquaintances, being fellow performers in the cabaret. That has nothing to do with However, what I said. I must clarify that I didn't claim to have knowledge of her personal belongings. Perhaps there's been some misunderstanding. I would be more than happy to assist you in any way that I can, but I'm afraid I can't provide any information on Haley's personal effects. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss? Uh, well, right here in my notebook, I wrote down that you claimed that she had a beautiful distinct vintage locket with a photo inside, a silver charm bracelet, and a leather bound book. These are things you told me and now you claim that you did not tell me. Yeah, my apologies if there was some confusion, detective. It seems my memory might have failed me there. Oh, that's suspicious. You down, you know I have my eye on you, Marina. You're very suspicious now, and I, I would watch your back if I were you. That's not a threat, but it, it is a threat. Do you happen to know a Nicola Grossman? My apologies, my distinguished conversationalist, but I'm afraid I've never had the pleasure of crossing paths with a Nickelodeon Roseman. It now, who is Michelle to you? She is a companion of the moment, a passerby in the bustling streets of my existence. Like a butterfly flitting from flower to flower, she adds a touch of color to the otherwise monotonous landscape. You didn't really answer my question. Is Are you a pimp and she's your girl? Or is she your wife? A friend? Do you, like, sling her on the streets? I don't understand. I'm sorry. I don't know how to help you with that. 